going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to fusion fall now uh, you're probably wondering hey uh, padfoot where the hell have you been uh... why are you such a jerk why did you abandon us now uh... there's actually a variety of reasons one of them can come down to uh... me being a little lazy uh... the other is that i actually haven't had any free time i used to have like an hour every day that i was able to just record like for as long as I want and it was really cool and I really enjoyed that and then uh, something happened uh, I'm not gonna go into detail about it but that free time actually disappeared so I've been never able to record like ever so um yeah that's pretty much the main reason uh, a couple other reasons is that in Fusion Fall there was a little bug glitch and it actually turned out that instead of being able to like talk to some of the NPCs, they actually disappeared, which was very strange. And um, they didn't fix it until a while later, and that was uh, one of the reasons why I wasn't able to complete any missions. Like I had a couple of missions, but there's like some main missions you really want to do, and then some missions that like guys. Come on, you can do it on your own. And there's some missions I just, like, really enjoy and I really want to show off. And those are usually the ones that I plan on recording. Which is, like, uh, the new characters they introduced. So, like, Chowder and Flapjack. But they disappeared. And, like, Eddie disappeared. And Double D and, like, all the people in Pokey Oaks disappeared. And it was just really weird. And they weren't able to fix it. And it took a lot of begging from... Well, everybody pretty much in order to uh, try and get them to fix it and they realize they're like yep we gotta fix this cuz we got loyal fans and uh, they love us okay all right let's do it so that's pretty much why I wasn't uploading if you want to just sum it up right there but now I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do in this episode and I was thinking about it, because I knew I wanted to record. I was given a lot of free time lately. Uh, so I was able to record, because everything got fixed. And I was thinking, one of my favorite things to do was to go to the castle. So if I open my map, I'll be able to show you where the cul-de-sac is. I, I don't get why I can't just scroll with the mouse, but you know what? We're going to have to deal with it. So right here, this is the cul-de-sac. And the cul-de-sac is my favorite, favorite, favorite area in this entire game. Like, you've got this entire map right here. This and probably uh, Camp Kibney or Mount Blackhead are my favorite area in this entire game. I know, like, uh, Padfoot, it can't be that good. But trust me, it's just like, for someone who grew up watching Ed, Ed, and Eddie and like to actually be in the cul-de-sac I don't know that's a little fan nostalgia I guess so we have a choice we can either go to um, Genius Grove which I don't really recommend going to until you're like at least level 7 but that's just my personal opinion you can go ahead easiest way you can do it uh, I actually talked about it in one of the, my videos that for some reason got wiped from my computer because I'm not sure, there was a virus on there, I tried cleaning it, and it deleted all my videos. But, that's beyond that, uh, we're gonna look past it. It was pretty much me doing, uh, Blossom's Nano Mission. So I got the Nano Blossom, I could probably show it off. Yeah. So, there you go, I chose Ice Breath. I'm not gonna be using it, cause I don't personally like Blossom, but, that's besides the point. So, you can either go to, uh, Genius Grove or you can actually head over to the cul-de-sac personally the cul-de-sac's better you uh... the mobs there they're more around your level so you definitely want to head there first and i understand you're probably going to get a lot of missions but trust me guys you really want to head over there first because you're just going to have a tough time in genius grove and it's going to be tough to do those missions right away and even though you've got the nano missions you still you don't really want to be doing those 
So that's just my personal opinion. Plus the characters in Genius Grove, they're like, eh. But you go to the characters in the cul-de-sac and they're like, wow, wow. So yeah. And if you look up there, you'll actually see that tram line. Basically, jump on that. I believe it's like somewhere over there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it, you'll be able to like jump up from somewhere over there. Basically, jump up there and follow it. It'll take you all the way to Genius Groves, and you jump off once you can see Mandark's house. And that's basically the best way to get there if you're a little under-leveled, if you're like level 4 and you still want to go to Genius Groves. I mean, I personally, I can get to every area in Fusion Fall at level 4. And I was thinking maybe I'd do a video of that, just to show you guys like the best ways to get everywhere. I just, I, I don't have the time. I think you guys can figure out when to go where. Uh, I know. I'm so terrible. Sorry. But anyway, welcome to the cul-de-sac. My favorite area. And look at these rangers. Sup, buddy? How you doing? I like your uh, cocoa stick. <laughs> so basically, you've got a ton of stuff. First thing you want to do, like the first thing you do every time you enter a new area you gotta register. So this is the uh, teleportation K and D transporter. Basically, instead of having to wait for the monkeys to fly you, you instantly teleport. It's a little more expensive, but honestly, it is so worth it. Like, I, I don't mind about money. You always get a ton of money from missions and stuff, so you really don't have to worry about that. But anyway, uh, let's register with the other one so now we can fly back and forth to sector v pretty cool pretty cool uh i've got a couple of missions now the main ones are um actually by eddie and by wilt now the new added ones are by chowder by paradox and also that little mushroom uh mushroom or not mushroom it's a frog i think it's a frog that is Adventure Time, that's Ben 10, that's Chowder. Get it? Chowder. Yeah, anyway, so, I think I'm gonna be doing the uh, Adventure Time one. Just because, come on, it's Adventure Time. So you want to be a hero. Greetings, brave adventurer. I am Princess Bubblegum. Oh, wait, it's a girl. Oh crap, I'm supposed to be speaking like a girly voice. I'm Princess Bubblegum, and I'm speaking to you through this magical toadstool. I know of a book called the Enchiridion that is meant only for heroes who are righteous, whose hearts are righteous. Are you interested? Hell yeah. Adventure Time is such a great show. Like, Cartoon Network was going into a little slum, but then they got Adventure Time, and I'm like, whoa, you just dragged me back in. So now we're going to warp to Orchard Bay. Which is actually some place you shouldn't be going until you're like level 18. I know, because I was just recently playing on one of my other characters. And the only, like, actual NPC is, uh... Well, you've got Finn here. You've got Johnny Bravo, who they add in later. Because they added this whole thing in later. Uh, you've only got Grimm, and he's been there since the beginning. But, uh, let's talk to Finn. Righteous. Now you need a truly heroic way to get to the top of Ice King's palace. These orchard launchers will do the trick. So, uh, he's doing some mathematical stuff. Basically, you gotta launch yourself. It's the same, uh, idea as in the KND, or not in the KND, as in the petting zoo, where you gotta launch yourself. Oh, I did it perfect that time. Uh, let's do another launch. Oh, no, 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 damn it. I'll, I'll uh, me. No. No. Mathematical. I, I didn't even make it in. Algebraic. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sometimes happens with me. Uh, you should have seen it one time. I really wish I was recording this. But I was trying to get up to Finn's castle. Because you actually... Or uh, Ice King's castle. Because you don't get missions for that until you're like 15 or 16. So I was trying to get up there. And... Oh, no. I'm not going to make it this time. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Nope, nope, nah, damn it. Alright, so I'll just continue talking. So I was trying to make it up to the Ice King Castle, and I failed at this first jump. It must have been like 20 times in a row. I know, because I had one of my friends with me, and he started counting every time I shouted, damn it. So, uh, screw it, Finn, jump me. There we go. I wonder if Finn will actually help. 
I did not think about that. Maybe he'll give me a little boost. Nah, it didn't really help. Kind of a waste, but oh well. And come on, yes, there we go. Now this last one's really easy because it doesn't matter where you shoot. You're actually gonna still wind up. It's just whether or not how high you are. I mean, personally, I don't mind like doing a little extra, but that's okay. Now uh, let's climb up to Ice King's Castle. That is that's a mouthful. That that is a mouthful. I don't I don't like that. Oh, loading. So in Ice King's Castle, they just added and check it out. It's Ice King. So you want to be a hero? Hello? You're here to fix my cable? I didn't even know I had cable. Oh my god, <laughs> what kind of TV is this? You don't even have the antennas. I'll be, I'll be in your antenna. Okay, move me a little bit to the left, and maybe you'll be able to get uh, ESPN. No, oh, no. Hey, check this out. He's got a little Ice King toy. He's got way big. He's got uh, Alien X. Well, I got Alien X also. Check it out. Cool. Oh, and the music. It's like the one from the dungeons. Oh, hey, Gunther. Why? Oh, there you go. So now we gotta jump down. Hey, Finn. Yes, I want to be a hero. So, we actually can't do any missions here for a while. But I believe we might be able to buy... No, we can't buy anything yet. I really want to get the Ice King Bolt. Cause that's a really cool bike. Speaking of which, once we actually get back to Pokey Oak, after, uh, right before I end the episode, I'm going to have to uh, show you guys a uh, bike system. Not Pokey Oaks, I meant cul de sac. You guys get what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna have to end the episode off here. Uh, as soon as I show off the bikes, I think I'm gonna call it this one, but I promise you guys I'm gonna be doing a lot more recording. I'm gonna like do a mass recording session and I'm gonna save up a bunch of episodes oh there you are and I'll make sure to start uploading again so basically once you get level 6 you can get your first bike and these things are so useful for transportation my favorite Grimm's hover hoverboard and I believe there was a secret Saturday one that I also liked I don't remember where it oh there it is Saturday's hoverboard that was the other one I really liked but anyways guys thanks so much for watching uh, next time we're going to be taking on Chowder's mission because I always found those to be pretty fun. So thank you guys. I really like do apologize for how long it's been and I'll see you all next time. Bye!